I'm Adrian from Nethercrop Constructions, also known as Rocky on the Pushrop forums. Today, I'm going to give you 12 tips to optimize your PHP configuration file for Pushrop. There are lots of hosts available, and many of them have different PHP configurations. This can make things difficult, since you may have different settings ticked and crossed in the Pushrop installer. Pushrop requires PHP 5, MySQL 5, and JavaScript, so when choosing a host, you should first check to make sure their servers have these installed. For example, I use JustHost to host my website. If you go to their features overview and scroll down, you'll see that their servers support PHP 5, MySQL 5, and JavaScript. And they also have support for custom PHP configuration files. I'm now switching to the PushShop installer on my server. I haven't uploaded a custom PHP configuration file, so the server will use its own default PHP configuration settings. When you scroll down, Tick the I Agree box and click Next. The PressShop installer will test your PHP configuration. As you can see, on my server, everything is ticked except for one item, because my server has PHP Magic Quotes turned on by default. If you're lucky, your server will have all these items ticked, but it's likely that at least one of these items will have a red X, and you'll need to override your default PHP configuration. I'm now switching to Dreamweaver. Depending on your host, you may already have a php.ini file that looks like this. If you do, then you'll need to search for the settings in my tips and change the values to match. For example, I'm going to search for magic quotes, where I can see that magic quotes gpc equals on, which is causing the red x in the installer. I'm going to change the value to off. Since magic quotes runtime and magic quotes sybase are already off, I don't need to change them. If you can't find these entries in your PHP configuration file, then just add them at the bottom of the file. If your server didn't come with a PHP configuration file, you'll need to create a blank php.ini file, then add my 12 optimization tips for PressShop like this. I actually don't need all these tips. I really only need the magic quotes tip here, but I've added all 12 tips here so you can see them all. You'll notice that the PHP configuration file is in PressShop's install directory. The same file is also in the admin directory, and also in the root directory. This ensures that the custom PHP configuration is read by PressShop's installer, back office, and front office. Before I upload the optimized PHP configuration file, I'm going to change the first few settings to show you some of the other items you might see with the red X. I'm now changing the first two settings to off, and the third setting to on. Now that it's uploaded, I'm going to switch back to the PushShop installer and click the Check My Settings Again button. After it refreshes, you'll see that the PushShop installer has detected that the PHP configuration is invalid. The Allowed to Upload Files item has a red X, and when I scroll down, the Allowed to Open External URLs and PHP Register Global Option is Off items also have red Xs. I'm now going to switch to Dreamweaver, change the settings back to the optimized values, and then upload the optimized PHP configuration file. Now that's uploaded, I'm going to switch back to the PushShop installer and click the Check My Settings Again button. After it refreshes, you'll see that all the items are now ticked. I can now continue and install PrestaShop on my server. I've now finished installing PrestaShop and I've logged into the back office. I've reduced the memory limit, so when I go to the Modules tab, you can see the error message that appears when there isn't enough memory for PressShop. If you are using an older version of PressShop, you may just get a blank tab instead of an error message. In that case, you should edit config.inc.php in the config directory and change display errors from off to on. Then you should see an error message. I'm going to increase the memory limit from 16 megabytes to 64 megabytes. When I switch back to PrestaShop and refresh the page, you'll see the error message has disappeared. If you're using shared hosting, which is common with inexpensive hosting packages, try to set the smallest limit you can that stops the memory limit error. If you set the memory limit too high, it is possible for inefficient code to use up too much memory, 
and cause performance issues for other users on your server. In that case, your host may shut down your account until you reduce your memory usage. If you find yourself needing a high memory limit, it may be better for you to upgrade to a VPS or a dedicated server, so that you don't have to share the server's RAM. You can then increase the memory limit as high as you like, as long as it doesn't exceed the total RAM that is available in the server. That's all for today. See you next time.